In this video we're going to go ahead and continue on with our measurement conversion form that we created, our application that we created in the previous video. And what we're going to do on this one is we're going to actually create a method that uses a parameter. And so we're going to go ahead and begin by creating our brand new method. And so I'm going to go ahead and just collapse. You've got the close goodbye method we created in the last one. We've got our CMD calculate click. I'll leave that one open because we will be writing some code in this particular method. So let's go ahead and create ourselves a brand new one. I'm going to go ahead and say it's private, which is going to let us know that it can be used within our class only. And then we're going to go ahead and say it's void. I'm not going to return anything yet. And then we're going to go ahead and start it off. This is going to be the name of it. Convert, I'll say, two feet. And then I'll go ahead and have my opening and closing parentheses. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit enter and use my opening curly brace, space down two times there give myself some space to work with and close my curly brace. And so now I've got, this is basically what we did in the last exercise or last video, but what I'm gonna do on this one now is a little bit different. Within the parentheses, I can actually accept input when somebody calls on my method. They can place something in the parentheses and I can use it within my method. And this is what's called a parameter. Basically it's a variable that or it's something that can be passed in to another method. And so what I can do here is I can actually say what can be passed in. And in this case, I want to use an integer. So I'm going to go ahead and just say create myself an integer. I'm going to say it's an int type or an integer type variable. And I'm going to go ahead and give it a name. And so basically you can come up with any name you want. Look at the scope. If you remember the scope, this is only going to be used within this particular method because it's created here within my method. So I can name it whatever I want as long as I don't have a class level scope variable with that name. So let's go ahead and give it a name. And I'll just call it int, because this is int an integer, input inches. That's the name of my variable. It lets me know that it's the inches that somebody has input and it's an integer. So we've got that now created. That's going to be passed in. So we can actually use this within my method. We can do calculations on it. So what I want to do is, and the purpose of this particular method is to take what somebody else has passed in through, through the method itself by calling it and placing it in here and do a calculation on it. So what we need to do is convert whatever they've typed in in inches to feet. So we'll just use some basic arithmetic here on this particular setup. And now I'll use integers to do my math rather than doubles. And the reason why is because of the rounding. I'd rather use whole numbers when I give an answer. And you'll see how that'll work when we get going. So I'm just going to create in here an integer. And I'm going to go ahead and call it for the first one um, feet. And we're going to go ahead and say it's going to equal basically this input or int input inches and we're going to go ahead and divide this by 12. And so if they entered in something like 60 inches, it's going to come back and return to me that it was 5 feet. So I take that input and divide it by 12. And so that's going to return back to me the whole number um, that we're going to be using. And so now I'm going to also do one more. And this is to get my remainder of inches left. And so I'm going to go ahead and say int inches. And we're going to go ahead and say it equals. And I'm going to go ahead and say int input inches. And now instead of using the divide sign, I'm going to use the percent sign for the modulus or the remainder of my division pro problem. So I'm going to go ahead and do that by 12. I use a semicolon here. And so now I have basically in feet and inches converted whatever comes in through my parameter into here. So now what I can do is I can go ahead and use my list box and actually output my answer. So if I wanted to call in my list box, I can do LST output dot items dot add. And I can actually use my uh, answers that I have and put them in this list box. So let's go ahead and begin by, let's see, what I want our first one. So it's going to be feet. And I'm just going to go ahead and add some text to go with this. So we're just going to concatenate this with a plus sign. And I'll just go ahead and say, uh, I'll do a space there to make it so it looks um, spaced out and the F in the number doesn't touch itself. Then we're going to go ahead and add to it inches. Add to it inches. All right. And this will end my statement. So it's going to take the feet variable that I've created and put the answer in my my list box, 
add to it the FT label. Then it's going to go ahead and take the inches and add to it the inches. So let's go ahead and run this application and see how well it works. So we'll go ahead and hit calculate and nothing happens. Let's go ahead and type in text. It'll say 45 and nothing's happening. So you're going to ask why is nothing happening? Well, let's go back to our code. And what we're going to see here is I did all this work within my method. All that work. However, I never told to run this method. So what I need to do is I need to call this method to work. So I'm going to go up here to my calculate, click method. But before I do, I'm going to actually just get the input from the user. So I'll just create a quick variable, int, and I'm just going to call this one uh, inches. It's going to equal, and let's go ahead and get from that text box. So I'll just do a quick convert to in 32 whatever was in that text box of ours, there it is, dot text. And now let's go ahead and call our parameter that does all the calculations and it adds the items there to the list box just by simply typing in the name of the method, convert to feet. And you'll notice when I start my parentheses, it's going to tell us there's something that needs to go in the parentheses. It actually tells us it's an integer that needs to go in there. If I don't put it in and I finish it up, it's going to give me the red squiggly line here. It's going to tell me something's not right. And that's because I don't have my parameter. When I created the method, I said, use a parameter that's an integer to do my calculations. So I need to type something in there that I can use. So we're going to go ahead and just type in, in this case, inches, which is my variable right here that I want to pass into my method. So we're going to take this inches, there it is, pass it into my method. It sees it, when the method sees this inches here, it sees it as int input inches. And it does the calculation that I have here. So this can be a little confusing um, to see how this works. I can type anything up here that's an integer and what it will do is it'll go ahead and do the calculations on it as if it were called int input inches, but I've only called it inches in this case. So this is calling my method. Now let's go ahead and run it to see how well it works. So here's my form and I'll just type in something like 45 and hit calculate and it does the correct math, 3 foot 9 inches. If I type in 60, it tells me it's 5 foot 0 inches. If I type in 72, it tells me it's 6 foot even. If I type in 74, it tells me it's 6 foot 2 inches. And so these are the correct answers for our conversion. And this will go ahead and conclude our video on converting or using a method with a parameter for the converting to feet portion of our application.